Yeah. You know how I am with screens. I'm going to get distracted. I'm like a cat. Yeah, we, we probably shouldn't watch The Twilight Zone. Actually, I, I prefer it if you got distracted <laughs> and, and weren't, quote unquote, contributing to the podcast. <laughs> We're partners in this. <laughs> okay? Yeah, it, like a life partners, and there's a bottom, yeah. and there's pa- two tops. Yeah, partners like cowboys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm yeah. a cowboy, and you're the man I own. And drive. <laughs> See, we mean? live in a in a frontier town that's so so far out into the wilderness that no women are allowed there. So you play you play the role of the town vagina. So we have a we have a, 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 a an Apache woman's face spray painted on your ass, and then a Chinese woman's face. Oh, nice! <laughs> around your mouth, different flavors. Yeah. So depending on we, the mood you're in, which one of the ranch hands is in there? I go, I, I go. What do you want, Tiger Lily or Tiger Lady? And then they take their pick. I I watched a uh, I watched a uh, Howard Hawks movie, um, fucking uh, El Dorado the other day with uh, with John Wayne and Dean Martin and uh, what's his name uh, Dean Martin the guy from from The Godfather Sonny what's his name uh, James Con James, Con- James, James Con-, Con so the James Condolini the, it's a really good movie at the very end um, they get past security by James Con putting a pot on his head and doing a fake Chinese accent. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Hell yeah. that's how they get into the saloon with all the bad guys. Oh, that's pretty it funny. It really all came down to the, the pot on the head gag. Well, when someone's <laughs> so if society's so racist that you, like doing just being like, "Oh, me Chinese." <laughs> and people think you're the greatest impressionist of all time. They're like, "Wow, it's like he's from the Orient." Yeah. Well, it's funny because like they would do those characters and it wasn't supposed to be like an exaggeration really. It was just supposed to be an accurate portrayal of like Mr. Tom, right. whatever his fucking name is, in in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it was comedic. Mickey, yeah, Ro- Mickey Rooney Ma- lived Mickey in Rooney, Chinatown for like six yeah, months yeah. to prepare for that <laughs> yeah. role. Oh guys, we didn't do. Oh, Mr. Goldright, <laughs> so we got a friend of the show back again. Hey guys, back by popular demand, Mike Racine. Yeah, the commendatory, Mr. Respect over here. Respect Racine just got back from a failed trip to Italy. <laughs> no, he didn't go to the other to, side, dude. He, he just went told to Spain, me. which is you know the same. Yeah, kind of. It's not the same. Spain. It's, the same. it's funny that Spain is like fucking. It's Spain, Spain and Italy. Italy. It's just they're white people. Spain but and Spain, Italy are the same like, country. Uh, no, like, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're, they're not the same, same exact country. No, come on. It's minor differences. One has like tapas, and the other one has uh, macaroni and gravy. Well, totally different gravy. Uh, one has they both wear you know salmon colored pants. One had the Spanish Inquisition, and the other one had the, the Italian Catholic Inquisition. boy rape scandal. <laughs> <laughs> where is the lasagna? <laughs> where's the Inquisition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah where's the lasagna? <laughs> yeah. The other one just had a bunch of. Yeah. Hey, where are we? Hey, do we have a reservation. <laughs> Um, we should we should just turn a bunch of rapes because the lasagna was cold. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can't focus with this fucking yeah, can you dick please nose motherfucker on the, on the screen, right. dude. Thank you. Thanks, nice. Amber. All right. Now we're really... If you guys thought those riffs were good, fuck. Hell yeah. Now Get ready for, for some, some riffs. Man, it's hot in here. Yeah. Should we take off our pants off? I couldn't. Adam was sitting... I, I guess Adam's finger was too weak to turn on the air conditioning. What are you talking about? So it didn't turn on. I didn't hear the request. Yes, turn it did. on. I saw you face the air conditioner. Okay, the AC is on. The, uh, the finger you use to press the button is a <laughs> too much of a bitch finger. <laughs> no queers allowed to turn me on. Uh, you are too. That'll weak. be in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it smells like doing homework and men's assholes. You are not allowed to turn on the air conditioner. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck! Uh, you also you're dressed gay. Yeah, uh, so I gotta I'm mention cool. the. Uh, every time I buy a piece of electronics, I gotta mention it three or four times on the podcast <laughs> and explain my feelings about it. The way it counts as a review, and I can write it off as a business expense. <laughs> I got the. Uh, oh damn, we're an electronics podcast. <laughs> we're an electronics and <laughs> prostitution podcast. <laughs> Why do you think we chart so high? We're in the we're in the Radio Shack genre on iTunes. <laughs> Adam, do you write off when you get jerked off by sex slaves? 
Uh, no, I didn't get a receipt. So <laughs> yeah. next time, <laughs> you don't need a receipt, dude. Uh, uh, okay. Well, that's not what my accountant told me. <laughs> yeah. Well, your accountant's wrong. They take bank statements, or you know, you know, Jerry Springer got memories. caught. Uh, he was like mayor of Cincinnati. And he got caught uh, in a prostitution scandal because he paid for a hooker with a check. Is that is that, that like rules. is that your hero, Adam? Yeah, your, Jerry Springer thing we learned is second one grade. of my heroes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking great show, dude. Man. I associate him with being homesick from school because I just watched Jerry Springer in the morning. And Price is Right. Yeah. Oh, Those Price is Right. School, two, Remember the two Steve shows. Wilco show? Hell yeah! They gave Steve Wilco his own it's, damn show. I think show. it's still on. Yeah. Really? Is it Steve Wilco show? I don't. I, yeah. I don't. As far as I I can remember, it's still now that was a charismatic man. Yeah, Steve Wilkos, make the body the bodyguard. Didn't he have a pedophile on one yeah. episode? And he just times. yelled at him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that was just the show. He's a guy that would like fuck his own daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. he's like I fuck my daughter. No one can stop me. And he's like yeah. get the hell off my show. After right. inviting him on, right? I mean, it's so like, like I wonder what Steve Wilkos' <laughs> take on this is going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the very best of all of them was Jenny Jones. No one will ever be better than she Jenny. has. Ricky cooking, Lake was good. She's someone died from YouTube. Jerry, yeah. Jenny, Jenny Jones. Jones got somebody murdered. <laughs> what? Yeah, someone really? got murdered. Yeah. What because happened? It they was like episode, I have a crush on you. An episode where oh, yeah, uh, a yeah. guy came on and he said, you know, like uh, he I told I his a gay boy crush on my friend, <laughs> right? No. And then uh, the guy was fuck. like, you know, oh, okay, I guess. And then they fucked. In a hotel that night, and then he murdered the guy because well, I didn't know they. Oh, I didn't. didn't Oh yeah, the guy was like also gay. Uh, Mm. uh, It wasn't. I mean, a straight guy would never murder somebody or something. No, every murder has been perpetrated by by a mentally ill gay person in history. Right? (laughs) There's never. It's never been a straight white man that's committed a murder. I mean, you you say that like sarcastically, but no, I'm not. Really? Yeah, prove it. Prove. Prove that, well, this, that a straight, straight man, man has ever murdered anybody. That guy, uh, <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> no, I got one. You literally can't do it. Yeah. No, no, no. Here, there's one. That guy, Omar Mateen, that kept visiting that gay club in Orlando yeah. like, just to check out the scene, but not, but super straight guy, and took right. steroids. That guy is and got straight. really upset oh, is, and then killed straight. all those poor Hispanic gay yeah, men. Yeah, he was straight. Okay. He was yeah, Muslim. he was straight. Which is uh-huh. LG- yes, yes, yes. LGBT MQ. <laughs> So he's in that. He's so not he's on our queer. team. Yeah. <laughs> the Q in LGBTQ stands for Quran. I love that he Lebanese, <laughs> bisexual, <laughs> gay, trans, trans, trains. Uh, yeah, trains. I'm waiting for the news story when it's like the murderer's pot uh, iPhone was found with 14 episodes of Cum Town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that no, we've totally stopped, no, mur- we've stopped mass shootings. No, yeah. Cum Town yes, murders. Have, Didn't dude. a legion of skanks. I, I worry about that because it, it probably would happen. Yeah. At some Please point. don't do at that. Least, at least a, like a drunk driving incident. Oh yeah. I got really scared when there was that kid that was calling all the JCCs with bomb threats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like that's definitely one of us. Dude, a Legion of Skanks fan killed his mom. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. He chopped her head off, right? And he was like, and they had a picture of him, like, at the show watching. Oh, <laughs> like, no. Yeah. He came to the creek, and, like, there's a picture of him, like, over Lewis's shoulder. God damn. That's awesome. Who? Well, that a Legion of Skanks fan killed his that mom. That didn't take oh, down oh, LOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. But <laughs> Lewis, see, Lewis like, doesn't. Lewis is like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. How fucking cool is Lewis? <laughs> Lewis had a t shirt made. Was yeah. inspired to murder her own mom <laughs> because of something racist. <laughs> How fucking amazing is that? <laughs> that I called Super Mario the N word. It, it turned out that it meant someone murdered their own mom. It's about inspiring people, dude. That's what good art is about. You know, yeah. it's like really changing someone's life. And sure, Legion Skanks did that in a way we haven't yet. You know, I, I enjoy uh, I enjoy the one with him and Amico more than the main one now. Amigo's good. We should have Amigo on, dude. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, he's, he's uh, great. He's a sniper. He gets in. Yes. There. Yeah, he yeah. He sits thing. back. We yeah. backs off. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to. He's have. a good co-host. Much yeah. better than me. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I don't think anyone would dispute that. What do you yeah. think we'd have I to trade Lewis? You're probably fishing for compliments there. But what do you think we'd have to trade Lewis to get 
Amico for Adam. What would we have to throw in? You know what would be a great show? Uh, Adam, first round pick. Adam yeah. and Anthony Cumia. <laughs> that would be an awesome show, actually. I would love that. You can't say that, Anthony. And then some <laughs> UFC fighters. Shout like, out. You want me to kick his ass, Ant? <laughs> Just let me do it. <laughs> He'd get like a porn star and be like, give this gay kid a, a yeah. blowjob. <laughs> yeah, we have AIDS Tessa here. Some, some girl that's 17 years old but looks 47. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, porn's just like, it's actually empowering. <laughs> no, no, those it's women em- don't know about empowerment. <laughs> it's empowering to be doing porn and also to be on this show. <laughs> the one, when Stav was on, when he was in the onesie. That fucking the, yeah. dumb bitch that yeah, got yeah, mad that, at me for yeah, making yeah, that yeah, autism woman? joke. Yeah. yeah, She's like, don't talk about fucking autism. She goes, she goes, her brother. She goes, my brother's autistic and he's more successful than any of you. He's a millionaire. And it's yeah, like, that, that's awesome. I think we I made this point the yeah, first right. time, but it's like, oh, so yeah, your retarded circus. brother is a doctor <laughs> and you're a porn star. <laughs> it's, so it wasn't your parents. Yeah. Your parents seem to do a, yeah. a real good job with him, well, <laughs> above like, and beyond. Two seconds <laughs> prior to that, she's like doing Hitler salutes. And yeah, she's yeah. like, I love the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, I forgot oh, that. Man. Yeah, she was like, Hillary's a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I but s- she made it, stuff come in his pants. Yeah, it was Did pretty, you come or did you get no. a stiffy? I got stiffed up. You got stiff? I'm only human, man. I'm going to get stiffed up. Dude, that's a dream of mine, to have a boner in the same room as Anthony. <laughs> Anthony <laughs> kill me, dude. I love to deny women erections. <laughs> that's my favorite. Not getting hard. <laughs> yeah. They're like, it's okay, this happens to a lot of guys. I'm like, actually, it happens to none of them who yeah. are particularly This has never happened to me before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this that'd be an alpha <laughs> move to flip that yeah, and to be yeah, like, yeah. well, this is all you, bitch. Right, like, yeah. What's your problem? They get to do it. <laughs> They're like, well, maybe you should get me wet. It's like, it's not, I'm not in control of those glands. Right. <laughs> That's your fault. That's, That's you. Right. You, you. So what? I'm fully You didn't closed. drink enough Capri Sun before this encounter. <laughs> That silver stuff is just <laughs> pussy juice. <Yeah. laughs> he just turned into like a girl Baron cum. Tubes are- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> um, um, yeah, so good to have Mike back. Um, how was your trip? Did you have a fun time? Yeah, it was good. We went to uh, Croatia and then Barcelona. I learned about the um, genocide in Bosnia. Oh, nice. cool. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty fun. That was each, a bummer. Each one of those little countries has had their own genocide. They had some. All these kind of Serbs. Well, it's so funny when you... Because I was... Got, they've all got one shitty type of automobile... Yeah, and their own genocide, and they all look exactly the li- alike, and they're yeah, all they all have those together. Slavic dog faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, they're all their own <laughs> ethnic groups, right? We, but you mm-hmm. can't they're, you can't tell them apart. Right, exactly. At all, yeah. Were the Muslims that they were like, killing in Bosnia? They were Albanians, though. There's a lot no, of Albanian Muslims. Yeah, but they're Bosnian Albanians? Muslims, like yeah. Bosnian. Albania or Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a two Albanian. Uh, yeah, fuck uh, Albania. But I was yeah, I was two in a row. <laughs> I was watching yeah, YouTube videos. Fuck Eldis. Fuck Albania. I was watching YouTube videos about. Bosnia and like there's all these comments from Serbs being like America is a lie this is bullshit yeah yeah you know. <laughs> didn't we drop <laughs> mad then, bombs that when Monica Lewinsky thing was going Kosovo, on Kosovo yeah. dude Kosovo yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. what was that guy's name Milosevic Milosevic yeah, yeah. Slobodan He's Slobodan dead. Slob my knob Slob my knob Slob my knob Milosevic, Milosevic. Yeah, that's good <laughs> <laughs> Slav my dong Milosevic Wait We cut Mike off read those comments Well I'm oh, just saying You gotta oh, read those comments Because everybody's we like We cut Mike off <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Unlike you I actually acknowledge When I cut off And I, I apologize for So it. I'm why are you sorry, including Mike. Me and Stav In your doing I'm not I'm not even looking at Stav I'm let's looking directly t- at you Let's play the tape back And your <laughs> monotone <laughs> Same color off. t-shirt <laughs> Pants <laughs> combination Hold on I'm rewinding Hey Mike Mike say something Start talking. Yeah, so yeah, I was just uh, fucking getting my dick sucked. Oh, uh, have you heard about <laughs> in Croatia in the seventies? <laughs> there was a director. Who, <laughs> fast forward. Yeah. Oh, and now see what happened, dude. Present, That's what yeah. you did. Dude. You cut off our friend Mike. He was talking about getting his dick sucked I on a Croatian, Croatian beach. Facts. Tony Kukoc. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Vladi Divac. Kro- no. Serbian. He's Serbian. Vladi yeah, Serbian. Krokop is the only Croat I know. Who's that? He's a MMA fighter from like ten years ago. Oh, nice! Okay. He's a big he was Drazan Petrovic cop. Yeah, yeah he was R. Cro- R. He was yeah. Croatian. Yeah. He was awesome. Um, and that guy on the Sixers, Croatian. Oh, um, uh, Dario. Yeah, Super Dario. Uh, yeah, right. Um, Isn't he? Oh, whatever. Yeah, he is. I think. <sighs> uh, anyway, cool. so why why Croatia? Was it cheap? 
Yeah, kind of. My girlfriend's cousin went there like a few months ago, and like she wanted to go. Uh, so went to like copying. one upper cousin. She likes the beach. What? To one upper cousin? Yeah, I guess he said he liked it. <laughs> yeah. so. I actually had a better time. Yeah. <laughs> you I got loser. I got sores on my penis though. I, I think that can happen <laughs> to you if you go in the. Uh, I thought yeah. my herpes came back because yeah. I, I only had one outbreak in like two years. Uh-huh. But I guess if you go in the ocean, you can get sea lice. Really? Yeah. And that'll right? Is that a thing? Yeah, probably. You're herped like, up. My my T cells dropped. I think I dropped. Do you guys so have like a similar semi herpes thing going on here? Maybe I don't know. We, I have I have type one. Which That's is, what I think I had yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So what? That just happens one time. I think so. I, but see, I don't yeah. know. I mean, because yeah. I, I had that shit happen where I was convinced I had it, and then like nothing. There's nothing. Happened. Yeah, it didn't come I, back. I couldn't for go a while, to a doctor, right? and then. But I've always had like skin problems, uh-huh. and so I had what I thought was the same thing, and I went yeah. to the doctor, and they did a swab test, and they're like, "Yeah, no, that's just like." Uh-huh. Like a hair, like you have like fucked up hair follicles from like chafing or something. Mm. Yeah. But I do test positive for type one, which is cold sores, which yeah. I've been getting since I was like. But a you can get that on your genitals. Yeah, like you that, can. Right? Yeah. But like it's from technically, sucking your own dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you have the flu, you're, you're supposed to be able to like auto inoculate. Where if you have it on your mouth, you can't get it on your dick. Okay. Um, but I don't know if that's even true. I got too clean a mouth. I got a clean mouth and a herp. No, I have a. I have a. My dick clean as hell, ladies. If you're out there, I get canker sores. If you want a raw dog, I'm your kid. boy. I get it's cold what are your sores? skin problems? Cold sores. I don't know. I get like folliculitis or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have folliculitis. I remember being a kid and I was yeah. embarrassed that I was Italian. I thought my skin was too dark. <laughs> yeah, really? I didn't like I didn't like Italian, Spanish people, and Indians. I, I just I thought they were like. Uh, I mean, so now I, you're one out of three of those. Well, my mom would always make comments about how Indian people's houses smell, and you know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is your mom single? <laughs> because I would she like to have be, yeah. a long chat in one of those big jacuzzi bathtubs. Like, you know who else stinks? <laughs> like, An alphabetized <laughs> list of yeah, ethnicities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Azerbaijan. <laughs> That's right. That, that right. was what I was going to say. <laughs> in 50 minutes, you're still on A. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Albanians, baby. Yeah, <laughs> another Albanian mention. But now um, I'm like too proud to be Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. swung the other way. Yeah, really too Speaking dark. Of, uh, you're also a native of the state of New Jersey. Yeah, right. How do you feel about uh, so your wait, governor? I think Hold it's on, funny. It's Chrissy, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it is really funny. That's cool. Yeah. Did yeah. shut down the beaches and then be like, "Well, I'm going." Well, there's nothing worse than people being like, "Can you believe he did this?" And it's like, if you had to write a funny scene or a sketch, you would never think of that. Yeah, yeah. That governor shuts yeah. down the beach and goes there with his goes family. there with his fucking yeah. shirt on Hilarious. like a loser. I would. Yeah. That's actually all of my sketch ideas. <laughs> it, it's a fat guy goes to McDonald's and they're out of burgers, so he eats the clown. <laughs> that's a good sketch, Thanks, dude. Man, I, yeah, I'm submitting. All these deaths in hell. <laughs> um, fuck. But wait, wait, wait. I want to go back to this. You were ashamed to be Italian. You grew up in Jersey. Did you grow up in like a Italian community? Like, what were you? Or were you around? Not Whitey? really. It was very like suburban. And like, uh, I was the only. I think I was like the only Italian kid in my. School. Oh shit! And I what thought my skin was dark. How so is that Hamilton? How is Hamilton? that possible? Oh, nice. Because I'm like uh, from the suburbs, kind of. Yeah, but there's Italians everywhere. Yeah, but I just thought I didn't like, I didn't want to have dark. That's like the biggest ethnic, I mean, after like what, German, Irish, it's got to be Italians or English. Mm. Yeah, I just didn't want to have dark skin. My sister thought my father was black for like the first eight (laughs) years of her life because he's so fucking dark. It's funny how dark (laughs) some of them get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Anthony DeVito is like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. you're like, no, you're like ethnically a cab driver. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Kumi is dark. It's weird New York. You yeah. know, it, mystery races. Yeah, yeah. He Absolutely. looks South. He looks Indian. Yeah, yeah. their yeah. culture. Their culture is those like beads you place over the driver's seat. <laughs> 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 Roller beads are. That's his. That's yeah, his those race. fucking tan motherfuckers, <laughs> with yeah. the yellow joints. Um, yeah, it is funny how some Greeks are like that too. That are just like dark as shit, and they're mm-hmm. also they tend to be the most racist ones. Yeah, it's yeah. like, come on, man, you're bi- you're black because they're yeah. poisoned. They drink. They uh, drank from the poison well, the Kool Aid well, the poison Kool Aid well. Um, there's a guy named Captain. We called Captain. I said named. There was a fucking guy in my neighborhood in Greek Town. We called Captain Hook, and he just looked like a fucking like a fucking half Somali pirate with curly ass hair, but he was just a Greek guy. Really not a fan of blacks, that guy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like the immigrants are yeah, always just, very Yeah, it's just racist. ancient black people 
uh, fucking your great 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 grandmothers. Yeah, mm-hmm. Moorish pirates. Yeah, the Moors. The Moors. It's that scene from True, True Romance. Romance. Yeah, it's a weird. Weird race is uh, Negritos. Oh, boy. What's that? The uh, first part uh, of that word. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> did not make it up. <laughs> it sounds worse because it sounds like you had a Cheeto to it. <laughs> You, you know what I love about you? Oh, you got some, eating Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. Let me get some of those hot fire Negritos. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you, you, it's you guys when you take hot the... fire Cheetos and you pour a Sprite in the bag and you shake it up. And it's like a, it's like a jail snack. That's what, yeah. The, the NSA's been watching out for that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> I'm so jealous you guys don't have to worry about like your career being taken away from you. Oh, uh, you do. No, it, it you, will. I mean, What's going to happen to look, you, though? Nobody's going to... I could always worry about that. I mean, I'd yeah. be like, I, the, things are different now. Yeah. You know, I was just like a piece of shit. And even if I continued to be a piece of shit, like I could still go back to like bullshit menial jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, we... I'm sorry, but this is bad publicity for fucking Domino's to have a delivery <laughs> driver that... Yeah. You, know, you wouldn't so, work for Domino's again. You'd be like I mean, a shop I, guy. If I fucking had to, you I'd would get some kind Domino's. of bullshit job where you'd make shit or something. That would be cool, but I mean, I don't have that on my resume. Yeah, you'd I've never rain. cussed on this show or even <laughs> laughed yeah. at any racist anything. You're just a rapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're kind of like cold, methodical <laughs> a Jew, a Jew rapist. <laughs> yeah, cold, methodical Jew <laughs> yeah, yeah. rapist. Is Adam getting fired because they find out he's Jewish from the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, we were big fans of Cumtown, but we 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 didn't know you were Jewish, so we're gonna have to fire you from this law firm. <laughs> we love that His Jewish slash law firm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sorry, but this is the termination of your employment with Complainy, Steelum, and 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 wine. <laughs> Complainy, Complainy, Steelum, Steelum, and wine. wine. Yeah, that's the law Jeez. firm. Jeez. That's a good law firm. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess besides raping, I've never done anything wrong, <laughs> yeah. according to you guys. Yeah. No. I mean, everything comes to an end, dude. Just because. Yeah, we're gonna are going kill ourselves. Right. I mean, it, I, it, I, it would be absurd to not think the bottom would fall out on all this shit. Yeah. On this overnight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Course, one yeah. of you gonna die, and the show's not gonna be the same. Yeah. That's probably yeah. what's gonna happen. Um, prob- or more likely, I'm going to be wildly successful and I won't have time to do the show anymore. <laughs> yeah. And Adam and Stop will have to go back to being dog walker comedians. <laughs> hey, I'll be fine. But yes, Adam, you will yeah, have I'll to be do something. Sorry, much, dog walker yeah. comedians that sometimes feature. <laughs> I've got a budding career. I'll be. I'll have no issue. I'll just go back to yeah being an occasional guest on the Chapa Trap House. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the only reason you got on this show anyways. This because what? It's a stepping stone to be on Chapo. Yeah, exactly. I'm using you guys. <laughs> yeah. I know everyone's motivations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it all written oh, down yeah. in a little notebook <laughs> called Revenge. <laughs> Reasons for Revenge, or so I assume. Um, um, I texted you the other day. I was making carbonara, but you never responded. I think I was out of town or something. Yeah. I love carbonara. It's a fun play on the traditional bacon, egg, and cheese. That's what I like to say. That's something I invented. Oh, nice. That's, I'm the first guy to ever say You know what's that. actually great? The chicken carbonara sandwich at Quiznos. It is. is. It? It's really good. Yeah, which, but it's not. It's like ranch with bacon in it. And <laughs> chicken, like, yeah. And chicken. They're like, yeah. Yeah, and cheese. Quiznos carbonara. fell really hard. I don't know what happened. Um, they didn't hire a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get somebody with too a, much consensual a sex sweet, with adults. A right. Sweet <laughs> pair of lips on them. Somebody that knows the forbidden tastes of the world <laughs> to dictate your delightful flavors. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. The, so you needed to make a sandwich yeah. that would like stand out compared to a right. boy's asshole. Just imagine because well, we all know? saw Jared and we were like, he has the courage to be who he is. Yeah. Yeah. We all knew it. Imagine, felt it. imagine Jared uh, uh, reclined on a chaise lounge. Eating grapes with uh, a couple of boys sucking at his balls and dick. <laughs> infants, really. And they bring him the new Subway flavors. Suckling infants. Wait, and Jared's, they bring him the new Subway flavors, and he's like, This one's not tangy enough. <laughs> Send it away. And he's got like a powdered face like the marquee and the fake mole. <laughs> and his, I thought he was a heterosexual pedophile. Yeah. He, not like a sinner. He was into- yeah. all, I, all I said was, was, no, I guess I did say boys. 
Yeah, that's right. You yeah. don't want to. You don't want to throw that on. Top. I think he did <laughs> fuck a boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I think it was. Like, we show some here. respect. Be fair nice here, guys. Christian type. Of thing. <laughs> I think it was twelve <laughs> and thirteen year old girls. But so you know what? He weird. fucked a boy too. I, I don't thought. think. I don't think that did shit he? was cool in the olden times back when you did fuck boys. Like for like Roman statesmen to have a boy that they would fuck. I didn't think it was cool either. I don't yeah. think you could go fuck a girl. Mm-hmm. I think that would be wrong for them mm-hmm. to do. They no, you you'd have to marry her. Yeah, you would. You know, if she's twelve. If she's that old, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, Adam, can you, Mr. Wikipedia? Now's the time to shine, dude. Uh, what was the question? Wow, uh, not even listening. Yeah, not even listening. You're, In you're, olden you're, times. You're sitting there daydreaming about, uh, <laughs> yeah, we you're listening to Chapo Trap House <laughs> with your host, Adam Friedman. <laughs> our favorite and guest, some Adam other Friedland. guys. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, it's, it's Adam. Adam Friedland Show. Hey, guys, it's Adam. Chapo uh, Trap House. Uh, <laughs> <coffee> much. <laughs> yeah, Here oh. are some bits I stole from Brandon Wardell. We sold them from old Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's the fucking shittiest... Uruburus of all time. <laughs> nice, What's, dude. Thank you. The snake sucking that, its own dick. Greek? Is that a Greek? Huh? Is that a Greek snake? No, nah, it's a snake that eats its own ass. Yeah, I know, but what is Ouroboros? Is that Greek? I don't know. What's the snake on the Tea Party flag? What's that guy? That's the Gadsden flag. The Gadsden flag. Yeah. The what good is that shit. all about? We well, talked about a, this like two episodes ago. It's a snake that uh, doesn't like being treaded on. He's yeah. like, don't know? step on me. And so you don't, you don't do it. That's chill. Don't suck on me. Isn't Remember that it drill Gadsden? tweet? That drill tweet. Uh, where I fuck. I wish I could remember how it was worded, but he was like, "Ah, yes, the good snake who does not want to be stepped on. Yeah. What a noble that? beast." Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I fuck. I can't. I no, can't I know remember. the one you're talking about. Yeah, though it's, it's very. I saw funny. it recently. Yeah. Ah, that good snake. Shouts out to drill. Who's drill? Jack Nicholson. He's a graphic uh, uh, graphic designer. Yeah, oh, he's, nice. some, he's just some guy in Jersey. That's some hilarious. Guy. Yeah, that's tight, dude. And he's just funny as shit, and just lives in Jersey. Drill is uh, shout out to that guy. None of us are friends with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good on Twitter. Who doesn't like Adam? Yeah, he hates. I Adam. actually made friends with him, and he said, "Look, we can't be friends <laughs> because that Adam guy keeps stealing my bits." <laughs> well, I'm glad. I, I, wrote, I wrote this. I want Marmaduke you all to myself. <laughs> Adam stole Do you know it. anybody who does a bit about Marmaduke on the last no, episode? Come on, guys. <laughs> I didn't steal a Marmaduke observation. It wasn't even a joke. Marmaduke was a giant dog who made things messy. That's all I said. That was your observation? <laughs> That's, I just described the most obvious no, thing no, about no, Marmaduke. No, no, no. And then no, no. Nick's like, whose bit was that? He, he whose bit was that? You couldn't possibly be smart enough <laughs> to understand what this three panel comic Marmaduke. is. In such a concise <laughs> and humorous way, <laughs> he, yeah, it was. I it fucking was, hate you. Was, he was like quoting something. Because these Norm fucking McDonald's love comedians, they show it's us not the Norm McDonald. Of life they analyze the. <laughs> Norm McDonald's famous Marmaduke bit. <laughs> <laughs> the classic Norm McDonald. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Anyway, anyway, guys, it was sorry, Mike. Uh, we were <laughs> sorry to fight in front of Mike. Can we all just get along in front of Mike? Yeah, we can, dude. We should go to Six Flags again. I would love to. Oh fuck, let's just go right now. Let's cancel the podcast. And go to Six Flags. <laughs> they, they don't close till ten. It'll take two, three and a half, four hours. Is it cheaper yeah. if you go <laughs> like to- at night? No. No, I don't think so. No, it's, it is, but it's, it's, it's like you less go, crowded. You want to go first thing in the morning before the Hispanic people get. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. They, I mean, like I mean right? well, yeah, they all they all they they take up all the wheelchairs so they can cut the lines, even though they don't need them. <laughs> You know They're what though? My family, we went to people. Disney and my brother got a wheelchair even yeah. though he's autistic and I love, can totally I love walk. accusing Hispanic people of doing the same exact shit that I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 just, yeah. Just criticizing them for being Americans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the best would, kind of racism. Yeah, they do yeah. love six They love though. fast food. They love going to the places that I go. You know what I can't stand about that? They love them? doing a racist they podcast. They do all the same exact shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is really just self-loathing <laughs> that yeah. you can project onto a brown person. Yeah. In fifth grade, we went to Six Flags and there was this kid Aaron Mitchko that like everybody made fun of, yeah. and we walked Shots by out him. Aaron. He became drill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, we walked by him at the at the trip, and he was just holding hands with his dad. <laughs> oh no, dude! Fifth I mean, grade? this kid. Yeah, this kid definitely had autism. But yeah, like, <laughs> 
my, my dad went on the trip too. He was just a kid that everybody made fun. Also, yeah. his name rhymed with bitch co. So yeah, like yeah, wasn't, bitch co's uh, good. There's a kid in my gym class named Mitchell, and I called him Bitchell. Oh yeah, mm, that was nice. a good one. Yep. My friend Rich, I call him Bitchard. That's mm. good. Bitchard Russy. Um. Yeah, uh, fuck, I was going to tell a story about somebody holding Six flags, hands holding oh, yeah, hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was walking to the train, and some mm-hmm. guy, like, comes out of his building directly in front of me, and he's holding hands with, like, what looks like a another man from the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're the same exact size, and they have, like, the same proportions, except the one man has just slightly narrower shoulders. Yeah. But these, like, enormous stumpy calves. And when I get a profile, I realize it's this man's, like, 10-year-old son that's hit puberty early. <laughs> so, like, it's this, like, little boy with this, like, dumb man's body. <laughs> He's just holding his dad's hand on the way to the train. It was very funny. Oh, it's man. Funny. Embarrassing Laughing. dad shit. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, Greek dads just kiss my mom. I, told dad my dad I was at a fucking restaurant when I was like eight, and this this Greek father and the son they like kiss embraced the and started open mouth kissing like uh, like right in front of our table, <laughs> and I was like horrified. Yeah. and I was like, "What the fuck Hell is yeah, that?" Dude. My parents were like, "Greek people do things weird." Yeah. <laughs> I suck my my do you grandfather remember, like, off every time I see him. Yeah, do, do you that's, how, that's how you keep his watch going. They say <laughs> my grandfather had a stopwatch. It's like old Greek parable about the stopwatch that would st- would stop ticking if you didn't suck his grandfather's penis, and if the watch stopped, his heart would break. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. like speed. His beautiful heart would shatter that's into right. a, a million little pieces. <laughs> speed three stops grandfather's Suck off my cock. grandfather. Keep my grandfather's cock at 69 miles an hour the whole time. Oh, Mike, I got the best track suit. You got to see this thing. Oh, yeah? You guys, you know what? I'm just going to go get it. <laughs> We're doing the show. You, no, I want to see this, this fucking three, track suit. Yeah, yeah. 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 See it. I'll be yeah. back. We'll talk to Mike about Six Flags It's more. an ugly track suit. Do you have any more? Uh, Are wait, you, you said you went to Disney? What was the story you were about yeah, to tell? Yeah, in, in like was? fifth grade, we went to Disney. And oh, like that my, was Disney. Okay, yeah, my yeah, brother yeah. can totally walk, but like we, <laughs> we got in a wheelchair. <laughs> and then like my uh, my grandmother, oh, yeah, like my grandmother passed away this year. And it's funny, like when somebody dies, you th- oh that's not that's nice, Nick. That's oh, great. That is. I like oh it. yeah, I'm jealous. Of that I, one. I can't. I can't do white. I can't do a white tracksuit. Why not, dude? Even for a special occasion, yeah. My I mean, you make a mess out of it, but look at the yeah. look at the lapels. I would get marinara all over. Look the how big the, <laughs> yeah, the lapels yeah. are. That's nice. That's fucking. This is the nicest thing I've ever owned in my life. Yeah. How much does that set you back? One fifty. Where'd you get Worth it? Every you penny. Because like the Adidas store. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got to go there for the nice in Manhattan. Shoot. Yeah, in Soho. Because if you go to the some of these like sneaker and shops in Bed Stuy, they have like cool stuff like Feel and Adidas yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't know why Damn. we don't like each other. We all wear the same clothes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, my grandmother passed away, so, like, you know when somebody dies, you remember all the good stuff they did. Right. Yeah. But then, like, you start to remember, like, some of the shitty stuff they <laughs> oh, did. Oh, of too. course. Mm-hmm. And she would always uh, park in the handicap spot because my grandfather had a <laughs> handicap <laughs> tag, and she would just park there. And I'd be like, what are we doing? She's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I remember I parked in the handicap spot at my old apartment complex so I could, like, Played Goldeneye with Jake in front of his, and there was no, there was plenty of spots open. There was an empty spot <laughs> yeah. right next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just parked in that spot because I was fucking lazy and I would do it all the time. Yeah. And uh, I like came back out and there was like a cop who like giving me a six hundred dollar ticket. Great. Oh. And I was like furious and I was like, I'm gonna fight this. <laughs> like, this is no situation where. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. a comic from Long Island who's got a bit and he's like, Why can't we park in the handicap spots? He's like, No, they park in our fucking spots. <laughs> I love that that's the direction he went and not with like. I, I, I always try. I could never figure out a joke about it, but I love that like the spots obviously off limits. You're a fucking asshole, but like they're toilet. It, which seems a lot more important. <laughs> we can just use their toilet. That's never any question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That one's, it, that's the first choice. Yeah, 100%, actually, is right. the that's the best toilet. toilet. Yeah, yeah. You want to get lifted a little higher? Yeah, roomy? because you know what? And that's why the the, the 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 parking spot thing is bullshit. Because it's like. Worst case scenario, you come out and move your car, and there's some handicapped guy sitting in the air conditioning in his fucking Mercedes. Right. You know. <laughs> yeah, those millionaire. rich handicapped <laughs> rich. pieces. Yeah. They're all rich. And he's yeah. like, yeah. Well, yeah. The yeah. Government, they're all milking government the system. You may be waiting in this 7-Eleven parking lot for 15 minutes. So you, there's a possibility that you'll come out of a handicap stall, and there is going to be a handicap oh. guy sitting there in his own feces. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I tried to shit in the urinal, but I couldn't because I needed that bar. Yeah. <laughs> I needed the high toilet in the bar, and you prevented me from <laughs> access to it. And now I'm covered in feces, mm-hmm. which I can only smell, mm-hmm. not feel. That's right. 
Their skin doesn't feel. <laughs> yeah. I'll never no be touch. able to clean it up. <laughs> I never. I can't see down there. I can't feel it. There's gonna be shit on me for weeks. Yeah. yeah. Because of you. I almost hooked up with a handicapped girl once, and then I got her pants off. And I what kind I of handicap? This is maybe Wheelchair? the lowest point of my life. <laughs> oh yes, oh, dude. No. I like. We were hanging out like all night. She's really. You got her pants really off, and girl. you were out of breath. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wheelchair? Or? Yeah, wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I got her pants off, and then I like couldn't get hard. Oh wow! Aww. Maybe you caught it. Wow, oh, poor girl. That's, that's the most. She touch, made my. That's the most touching <laughs> thing I've ever done. Dick <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you're like me now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a little version of one dick. of my legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my legs. <laughs> We're the <Yeah>. same. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, in a lot of ways, you really bonded yeah. that night. Mike. Sometimes I'm like, why do I try to be funny? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like that movie Frozen. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it, but I feel like that's like a Disney plot. So, uh, where did you meet this person at a after a show? Like nice. A, this was like 2009. Nice. She's got two kids now. Really? Yeah. Nice. She's doing well. Some some guy who wasn't a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah, able yeah, to yeah. maintain an erection and. I mean, but do you, do you think that was just? A, I mean, I don't know, man. Anything will throw. Anything could throw your cock off. You never know. But you think it was probably the non-functioning legs. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I felt awful. I was yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. wish I, there was something My, I could do about it's, this. It's tough to realize that your dick, which you have no real control over, I was like, is ben- bigoted. Right, you know, it's right. like <laughs> yeah. my uh, my friend went Were to her legs all atrophied and shit. Is that why? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. They were like arms. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. I'll tell you, uh, yeah. Yeah. My friend went to high school. Where there's like the, the pants holes for, but then they like, they just, they come out of the middle and don't touch any part I'm of I'm trying to write for At Midnight, Nick, so if we can yeah. talk about this. Uh, yeah. My, yeah. Please enjoy our, our current guest. Uh, we, we accidentally called him Mike Rossini earlier. It's actually Scott Chaplin, everyone, yeah. who's telling this story. I mean, you could probably just pass off. No one could tell the difference, I don't think. Yeah. It's Scott like Chaplin, Justin Flanagan. They're all the same voice. They're all just characters doing each other. We should have Flanagan on. Yeah, we should have both. It was Scott, too. Yo, that black guy's fucking retarded. <laughs> I saw the ugliest black guy you ever seen at the bus. That's <laughs> every Flanagan story. There was this retarded black guy at my alternative school. What I went to? He was smarter than me. He, he had better than grades than me. <laughs> well, he loves Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually my boss at UPS now. <laughs> you know how to boy do. <laughs> See, that girl from Flanagan. Glee in the wheelchair <clears throat> went to high school with my friend in North Jersey. Oh. And apparently she was mean to everyone in the high school. She had like an attitude about her, like she nice. was famous and stuff. And, was she um, on Glee at the time, or was she like? A I think actress? she was like an actress. Was she the go-to wheelchair actress in her? I think maybe. And then so apparently, one of one of my friends uh, said, "Got toppy." Said, "Fuck you, chair." Oh, to her. nice. Yeah, which Called is like chair. Really horrible. That's pretty shitty. That's yeah. a really shitty way to. So he didn't get top from her. No, he did not get top. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna start calling head getting toppy. Yeah, sloppy that's toppy. Like, that's like a cool. That's like what Robert Redford would say in the Sting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was getting his dicks out. <laughs> Listen, Yeg, I got a yen for some some primo toppy over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it toppy. That's the slang, guys. Summer seventeen head is now toppy. <sighs> sloppy toppy. No, do not do not um, cut my I'm gonna, dick off. I'm going to circumcise you with some wire cutters. <laughs> what are you? Fourteen two? Is that the right gauge? <laughs> I'm putting those fucking ear gauges in my foreskin to stretch it out. Dude. Yeah, I cool. think that's a good no, idea. I buy put one of these in there and then you let it open. <clears throat> no, that's too much. Should I go? Where do you get those gauges for your ear? Like uh, a, a uh, Claire's Paxson? at the penis store. <laughs> <laughs> you go to you go to Chelsea and you just ask the fucking the guy with the best posture but pot belly you see. <laughs> you say, you sir, you look like you're experienced in the dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I get one of those penis gauging things? <laughs> Dark and he's arts. like, uh, well, you already missed Pride. <laughs> no, no, it's for a different thing. <laughs> Where do you get Have those? Have you heard of a, There's a porn called The Opening of Misty Beethoven or something. It's like a classic, oh, yeah, like dude. old porn. I was looking for it for a girlfriend I one time. I love classical stuff. 
Nice, yeah. yeah. I'm into classical film and, <laughs> and books and yeah, literature. Yeah, it's like kind of like old. I it's love like one of the, books. <laughs> yeah. Books to me yeah. are just pornos with plots. What do you mean porn is it books? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's porno videos? I watch them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Prove to me they are. <laughs> Why are they in the Library of you Congress fucking, then? You bougie bitch. You're going to tell me I don't read books. There's got to be porn in books. the Library of Congress, right? Uh, like yeah, famous porns? Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? Sure. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why not? Like Debbie Does Dallas or Deep Throat is probably in the What is it behind the green door? That's an early one. I haven't seen that one. What's the famous porno? Deep, Fam- most deep famous throat? Deep Throat, deep throat right? Deep one, yeah. That's the most famous porno. Uh, probably. That's probably in the Library of Congress, dude. What's the, what's the one with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Linda Sh- Loveless? Sh- uh, Shields. Brooke Lords. Shields? T- uh, Tracy Lords. Oh, wasn't she underage though? Yeah, she was like fourteen. Or that might have been behind the green. She door. was like eight years old. <laughs> nice, <laughs> dude. Filming her getting railed out, and but she had a single pube. So they were like, they, "Yep, that was the law of the day." They brought, they brought an inspector. In. <laughs> the, li- the law of the day was if there's grass on the field, play ball. Yeah, if there's a <laughs> so grass. inspector comes in. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, he tugs on it to yeah, make sure yeah. it's not glued yeah, on. That's it. <laughs> one, two. Nope, just the one. One cube. Everything seems tip-top shape here. Carry on. You may proceed. <laughs> um, the porn inspector. Anyway, so why are we it's talking? Like, it's like some thirties guy that's like Batman's friend. <laughs> well, listen here. I'm the porn inspector. I'm here to make sure that the girls are at least having periods. That's the age of consent. Um, so wait, you you were talking about you're looking up a porn. That's how we. Yeah, get but it's this. not that great of a story. Oh, okay. Now that I, think <laughs> yeah. about it. I just went to a place in Chelsea and I was like, "Do you guys have regular porn here or just gay?" And the guy goes, "No, only gay." <laughs> That's the best story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I, just, I had like time to kill between shows, and I'm like, maybe I'll go find that porn. You were not beating around so the I bush. Went to, like, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that someone answered that ridiculous it question. Was like some, it was like some guy from Bangladesh working there. <laughs> like, like they all do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm only so gay. jealous. I'm so jealous no, you got to only, live that moment. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Pretty funny. No, gay. Oh, no. Man. Adam, can you imagine? Imagine killing that hard on this podcast. <laughs> what? Can you imagine what that would feel like if you ever killed that hard on this podcast? Shut the fuck up, dude. That would be, you imagine how great that would feel. I've killed that hard plenty of times. If if you what ever bit? Got name a one, you bit. can't hear the chorus of audience laughter because they're on the other side of the internet. Yeah, they're googling Norm Macdonald, Marvin. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh fuck, man. Yeah, and Nick. D- oh, oh. Don't even get me started. Don't get this guy Mike, riled up. I, I, that was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice Adam didn't laugh at it. He was yeah, he was jealous. Phone, jealous that, <laughs> that he couldn't. Have I it. also bought this book on like how to eat pussy. It's called oh, She really? Comes First. Yeah, I, I, I had that book. Yeah, it's like written really weird though. Yeah, yeah. Guys, it was written. Was really it was written weird because the guy who wrote it was tenting his fingers the entire time. <laughs> yeah. he dictated it into his Boost Mobile phone. <laughs> And see, the thing you got to understand is because you got to give her the pleasure that she knows she deserves, but not the kind that you think she deserves. Uh, see, I'm more of a self-taught, you know. Mm-hmm. I've never read a book. I'm a natural. But I, I would like, like I would be interested to, to take a read. The writing in it is like really weird. It's like the guy's like, it's very flowery and mm-hmm. weird. Mm-hmm. I had an ex-girl from that had that book. She yeah. was like, "You should," and I was like, "Oh, that's fine. hilarious!" I'm, like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. Bitch. She tried to give you the book. <laughs> no, she's like, "This is like a this <laughs> is this is a good book. You should check she, out." She she was also so one she that tried was like, to give you the book. Yeah, she it was actually before <laughs> oh she was God, making dude. a clear. Then she gave him a book called "Get no, Out of no, My it was Life." Actually you during, yeah, 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 yeah. It was during how portion. to keep your cock hard was another one. She, she gave, gave me that. Oh, she gave me that in mind. Come how to be a black guy and also how to be black by. Yeah. Day Thurston. <laughs> Give her that book. <laughs> she gave me uh, that and uh, Mein Kampf and Invisible Man. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, a it was before that's we started dating, actually. She, I saw it in her, in her bedroom, in her dorm, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this bitch definitely 
has had sex once or twice. <laughs> yeah. She Sometimes fucks. I listen to the show, I'm like, I think they bully Adam too much. But then yeah. you get here and it's, it's so much fun. It doesn't feel yeah. good, dude. It's so it is fun. fun. I know. Yeah. I get it. You guys look like you're having so much fun. Yeah. You know, I really like... I, I, I didn't want... I want to be part of it, but you know, it's... Well, you just, sit there and you stop paying attention. Or you do, what do you mean you, stop paying yeah. attention? Weird I've been paying attention legs, this whole time. Your voice goes up like a... What do you mean? You cut me off. You're getting way too comfortable. What do you mean? I'm comfortable right now. You look like you're... He thinks that he thinks that you bully me too much. Well, no, so that's, that's, ex- that's you know, the opposite that's, of what he said. No, that's Mike. Opposite, he said he was mistaken. Yeah. Once well, he saw it, he recognized how great it was. Listen, I I, I get it. I'm I'm the I'm the intellectual. You're the, of the, you're show. the Carl no, Pilkington of the show. I'm you the Carl dumb. Pilkington. This is like uh, the best podcast. Though I, I said that before, but me and my girlfriend taking a, a road trip, and I was like, "What do you want to listen to?" And she was like, "I don't know. I just don't want to hear about politics, and I don't want to hear about cum." <laughs> I'm like, "They don't just talk about cum, stupid." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if we fucking did? retard? What, yeah. if, what if the entire podcast? I mean, to be fair, a lot of it is it's just, just calm. like fucking yeah, like stupid jack off yeah. to. Or, yeah, we talked. Yeah. We talked about how long uh, but you need it would take that. You, but you know what? Hey, you guys credit are, where credits due <clears throat> to keep it going a year with fucking nothing. Yeah. But jacking off talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why hey. we have to lean on making fun of Adam because you know I, I mean, agree. I've already you bought guys, all the you electronics. You guys are filling a so void. Everybody's trying to be relevant and political, and, <laughs> and have a theme just, for their podcast. You know? Yeah. 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 I, whereas we're trying yeah. to go to Six Flags before the Hispanic <laughs> people. <come Yeah>. Uh, oh, dude, your girlfriend at my birthday party getting in that argument with Will was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yeah, we talked about that already. It wasn't really an argument. She's just um, stupid, and she's, she, had, she, had, she had a rough childhood. And I, I listen to Chapo a lot, and she's like, I don't know, she's like not like a right winger, but... She's Staten she's Island. She's got a negative. She's very Staten Island. Yeah. yeah. And like nobody helped is she her. she from Staten Island? Or, I feel like if you're a She Italian, was born there, you yeah. You could just be very Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not even being able to look Never stepping foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is she talking to Will about? It's been like 20 minutes. And I go over. She's like, don't tell me I'm oppressed because I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Hell huh? yeah, dude. Good. I yeah. think she's on to something. Women yeah. have it too easy. She doesn't really like we we fight about immigrants a lot, mm. believe it or not. And I'm always very like pro immigrant. I'm like if somebody has to sneak here and clean toilets, you know, yeah, uh-huh. then I have a little sympathy for them. And she's like, yeah. a lot I of them feel. come here to milk the system because <laughs> she has to she has to give speech therapy to their fucking kids. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, she's everyone's different, right? Yeah. Oh, is she an ESOL teacher? She's um she's a speech pathologist. But Jamel said "retarded" like, is the second language on, <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. Yeah, that's really good. Him. RSL. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I forget how it came up, but he just slid that in there. "Retarded" is it's the beautiful. second language. He will just throw out a phrase that's completely apropos of nothing, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's funny as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what it means. He's a good guy. So she t- she teaches Esau then. And she just works with kids on. Like, I remember. Speech did and I ever language. tell the story? What where do they call it ESOL, English second know. language. Yeah, but what, why ESOL and not ESOL? They call it ESL. They call it no. ESL. They call they call it ESOL in. They call it ESOL. I've never seen. They call it ESOL, ESOL in Baltimore. Yeah, maybe that's I've some heard, Maryland shit. Yeah, maybe, but well, I heard ESOL. All did the I ever time. tell that story ESL about how I didn't know what I thought it was a Spanish word. I thought it was like. Esau mm-hmm. meant learning how to not talk fucked up <laughs> in Spanish. I remember one time I when I first went to like when I was in first grade, they it was there was such a big like Greek population that they tested everyone for everyone that was Greek for Esau for being retarded. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for for being gay. <laughs> and uh, um, well, we I had the we, high we score. We checked to see how many grapes we could fit in his ass. <laughs> and your son is the most Greek boy here. <laughs> There's a <laughs> bottle of olive oil to celebrate. <laughs> um, I remember I went in there, and of course, you know, I could speak English. And then, but I go into the <laughs> Esau. Wait, you couldn't speak English? No, I could, I could, I oh, could. But good. I passed. And then I saw my friend Costa that was just there. Yeah. And he doesn't speak Greek, but he was just in Esau because he was stupid. And he didn't want to admit he was bad at English because <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. So he was like, oh, yeah, it's because I speak Greek and not English and then I went there I was like wait Costa what the fuck are you doing here dude you don't even speak Greek you're just a fucking idiot you failed uh, so like yeah he tried to even though he didn't speak a second language he still didn't speak English well enough to you know, pass remember, yeah. you know what I loved remember when they do the hearing test where they put that thing on yeah, you yeah the like, beeps boop, boop. Yeah. yeah what I loved about that is they it, never cleaned it I don't remember they did that until I yeah. was in like third or fourth grade 
Meaning that if I was like deaf, they just wouldn't have known for the first four <laughs> really? years. <laughs> they, like, just if anyone yeah, gets yeah, it yeah. deaf, they're like, no, we'll wait. Remember yeah, scoliosis? Yeah, yeah. Remember scoliosis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I bent I've had over tits. in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've had tits since I was like ten years old. So my mom had to write a note and be like, "He's embarrassed of his tits." <laughs> 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 uh, please don't I've tried to talk about this on stage But yeah She's like Our doctor's just gonna do it That's He's so got funny. big tits Everyone's gonna make fun of him Did you were, you were you a shirt in the pool boy? No no, no, so you shed. I took it off a little bit, but I was always kind of like, yeah, I always yeah, hide yeah. them. There, I had a couple years before I, before I, you know, really accepted my body. Mm-hmm. I remember because as I, a youth, yeah. I was, a, I was a shirt. In the I pool did that. Boy. I did that. Like I remember the first time I saw a kid that was like fatter than me. That was just like fine about it, and I'm yeah. like, you're a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're what? <laughs> you're like a fucking hero. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you could just be fat, and it's actually the best way to live. It's awesome. I know. I tell. That's what I've adopted. Yeah, it's just yeah, being yeah. Fat But fat naked. people going to the beach is always pretty. The funny. thing about being <laughs> fat, why, why being fat is like the best of all of the things to have. It's because it's like you're not going to get killed by the police. <laughs> you're shaving years off your life. What are you talking it, about? You're not going to get killed by the police if you're a fat person. Then that guy Harry Garner. Garner, yeah, he's equating being fat to other uh, disabilities. He if you're like fat being and black. White, and yeah, like being, oh, you're saying a white kind of, fat guy. Any kind of like you know like uh, 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 identity thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Although there okay. were a few people who got on TV you're after the Eric Garner thing. You're, you're, you're cutting time off your life, but in exchange, you get to just eat whatever the fuck you want all yeah. the time. So yeah. who cares? I mean, I'm, you do the same thing with smoking or cocaine. Right. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I know this isn't you? politically correct to say this, but maybe if he wasn't so overweight, he might still be alive. <laughs> after the yeah. Eric Garner thing? Yeah. yeah. There were a couple people who did I that. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How dare they fat shame? That was my only problem with it, that they fat shamed That him. was a fat guy. I thought the cops guy. went by the book, and I thought with <laughs> It was good. Well, it's I'm the worst saying. when you watch that video and that girl shows up, the paramedic, she's like, Sad, do you need any help? Can you breathe? And you're like, the guy's I, done. Uh, yeah. Mike, uh, Mike, Diesel, Tim, yeah. Mike Diesel and Clay Miles used to have a comedy tour called the Fat Guy and the Black Guy Comedy Tour. It was funny because uh, like, Clay Miles was also fat. He's also fat, fat yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, it's just two fat guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just imagine somebody reading the newspaper in the morning like, oh, honey. Yeah. Oh, we should go. A fat guy and a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like vaudeville level advertising. Yeah. The Malaysian Midget Comedy Tour. Yeah. Um, Clay, Clay was a big towel guy. Oh yeah, Clay <laughs> loved towels. <laughs> Clay was funny though. I didn't know. I, I, I kind of missed that dude actually. He was funny. I mean, you know, it's as funny as you can be by being like a fucking wiseacres guy. Right, right, right. Is wiseacres so closed? Oh yeah, yeah. It's not Mike right. Diesel ran it into the fucking ground. I also just think it's not. It's a different hotel now or something. Yeah, mm. but I mean, they turned it into like. Where is it in? You know, you know what I think they did is they they started letting Oscar that like fucking. Uh, El Salvador fucking MS-13 bartender that worked there. <laughs> they let him start doing like reggaeton nights. Hell yeah. Some of the nights uh. at the club and he would just pack the place with El Salvadorians and I think eventually they just decided to switch it over. Or, yeah. I'm not sure what the decision was. but Virginia's number one reggaeton club. Pro, pro, pro. I love me some reggaeton. Where is it? Dude. Tyson's Corner? Yeah. That's a weird place. Dude. It's a, like four four highways meeting in the middle yes. of Virginia. And it's also like the biggest fucking mall. That I've, oh, yeah, I've been like to that mall. They have, they have one mall that's enormous. That mall's really nice. they built like a second mall right next door. <laughs> There's like a sky bridge. Yeah. Next it's them, just a mall city yeah. with hotels. I went, there, really I went there to watch uh, uh, Fast and the Furious 6. Nice. And uh, it was great. That's a great movie theme. Do they have the, the IMAX and shit out they there? They just have big screens, I know, but it was like, I guess there's a lot of like Hispanic kids in nor- Northern Virginia, uh-huh. which is, that's the audience you want when you go see a Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah. Hispanic teenagers. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, it's like a Honda. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a little Acura, but it's a Honda. <laughs> oh, oh, do you see that? Yeah, they're great. They get all the enthusiastic about it. All the Asian oh, kids yeah. in my high school used to be really into... Getting their Acuras like with NOS and shit like that. Oh, they would have NOS, dude. Well, I don't know if they actually had NOS, but NOS that was, was like pretty big. They put like yeah. spoilers on their shit. Spoilers. Yeah. I put Neon yeah. on my Saturn when I first Did got you? it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They fucking uh, were really into break dancing and putting, putting turbo kits in cars. Yeah, I turbo that's, kits. Yeah. That's as far as like teens yeah. go. I think like body work and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I should get. Do you a remember kit. import models like hot Asian girls yeah, that would yeah. sit on top of those like yeah, ac- Infinities and Acuras? Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I got yelled at, guys, today at the burrito store. Oh yeah, store. this is a funny story. What happened? <laughs> so I, 
I went into Lucha Lucha a few blocks away from uh, Nick's house and uh, yeah. Don't tell people what bur- burrito. Nick lives in Bedford. I don't want people visit. triangulating where I live based on your <sighs> stupid restaurant. Anyway, I went into the burrito place <laughs> to get a burrito, and there was a woman whose just full tit was out. What <laughs> breastfeeding? Oh, <laughs> and she had like I just she had just huge silver dollar mocha Nips. areolas, and she was nice. just breastfeeding. And I was trying not to look, but apparently I was looking. And her, I I don't know if it was her husband. You were such a I think it was a piece of shit. What? How dare you, man? A woman's just trying to feed her child. First of all, that's we were like, in the. I, not, I was trying that's not, not a to woman, look. That's a mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and I gonna, knew this is why Nick. You're going to publicly. I knew this is why you wanted me to her bring beautiful this up. nipples. I wasn't yeah. disrespecting anything. I, Your I mouth was even, watering. You can't. I didn't even think I was staring. You described it in terms of food. You said mocha. You're talking about yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah. Words have different meanings. That's also a color, bro. Nah, anyway, dude. I was. We know. I you thought meant. I wasn't staring, but then her friend, who's at the register and set it back down, like got up and was like, "Yo, can you actually stop looking at this beautiful uh, jumbo yum yum that's just like sitting out <laughs> in this restaurant with a baby suckling from it in the middle of the restaurant where everyone's eating right now?" They yelled at you, and I said, "Sorry." I mean, I I, I don't know what else to Which, say, but like were honestly, they nice titties? You could breastfeed somewhere else. Seriously, were they, oh shit, they That's were beautiful. <laughs> they were really good. They were really nice. Yeah, was she hot? but like I, w- I didn't think was I was staring. What was she hot? Yeah, she was hot. Dude. Nice. <laughs> hey. Honestly, hey, honestly, you know what? Nice. I'm not. I'm not down with that, dude. What do you mean what? you're not down with that? You're disrespecting. A, a public breast. If there's I don't a tit, think you if there's a tit just next to you, I salute. I close my eyes and I fucking salute, dude. <laughs> yeah, and the way I do I that said, is thank by- you for your service. <laughs> I didn't ask her for the other nipple. I just was like maybe looked at it once or twice. The way I salute is by just side closing my, my eyes and just. My girlfriend and sister is a lactation consultant, so I'll ask her about it if it's okay to. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Give give yeah. her Adam's name so she can put it down <laughs> in the register. Can we get some breast milk? <laughs> She's got I think someone told me she could ban She's Adam got from the milking community. Someone said breast milk tastes like Fruit Loop milk. Someone told no, me it that's, doesn't that's taste if good. you're sucking a diabetic titty. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like Fruit Loops. That's she's got. Well, a have blood you tasted? Sugar have you tasted? Uh, titty milk? No, I just know that if you wake up and you taste Fruit Loops in your mouth, it means you got fucking diabetes. I think that's it's if like your piss smells sign. like that, like Fruit Loops. That's that Patrice thing, and it said piss smelled like birthday cake. Or yeah, yeah, so so funny. But yeah, no, I remember reading as a teenager that if you wake up with like a, a, a like a breakfast cereal taste in your mouth, you're well, that's, either, but that's the best. You either you either have diabetes or you're on your way there because you fell asleep with candy. <laughs> yeah. <in your> mouth. <laughs> or Tony the Tiger fucked your mouth yeah, while yeah. you were sleeping. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> that was good. I'm, I'm gay. gay. <laughs> what were we laughing at? Yeah. Steve Urkel being. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did I this gay might that? Be the yeah. Stupidest shit of all time. <laughs> Did I gay that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's not, but it's not Did even I a pun. I gay that. It was in the heat of the moment, you know? That's, that is really Go funny. home, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get that? Sucking Carl's dick. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Steve like comes in the kitchen and he fucking trips over an extension cord and tumbles. His pants fall down and his ass plugs directly under Carl's dick as he's getting out of the shower. <laughs> And he goes, did I gay that? <laughs> Carl goes, go home, Steve. Go home, Steve. Laura, well, right, I have big news. <laughs> <laughs> wow, whoopsie, Daisy. Oh, uh, boy. Fuck, man. Now, this is the kind of comedy that people pay for. Yeah. Make this did one I, a premium, Did man. I gay that? It has to be a premium because we didn't take a break. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh the this is the primo, last baby. One. The big Here's dick the shit. Regs. Yeah, um, so uh, for the premium episodes, we always do a electronics review segment. That's right. Uh, uh, John Wick Two on Ultra HD 4K <laughs> Blu-ray. Haven't watched it yet, but the box I give it three out of four stars. What's wrong? Why do you? I don't know. It's just it's, it's, reviews are subjective. It doesn't matter. I gave it four out of four. I like. All right, I like the neon aggregate score of three point five <laughs> out of four stars. Uh, I like. The, I like John Wick. I like the idea that there's two of them. <laughs> the, uh, 
you know, uh, sometimes people knock on sequels. They say they're bad, but sometimes sequels are good. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like like when you fuck somebody again. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's one of my favorite sequels. <laughs> no, that's a good sequel. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Wick Two, good sequel. I haven't seen it yet, but um, oh, you haven't? No, but I do what I, I like to call intuition reviews. Mm. That'd be that'd be a fun thing to do, like on Jezebel or whatever. Yeah, like where they just like in, just in like they use their intuition to <laughs> tell you how a movie's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Something in my chakras just tells me that it's going to be bad. <laughs> that Cars Three yeah. won't as, won't be as good as Sandy Kenyon thinks it is. <laughs> Is San- Sandy Kenyon said it's good? Sandy Kenyon... He's never said loves. a movie's bad. He Who is that? that? He's the, Hi, I'm Sandy he's, Kenyon. He's the, the cab guy that sounds like Adam's oh. regular speaking voice. Yeah. The other <laughs> cab guy never trashes a movie either, the guy with the gray hair. That's Sandy Kenyon. No, that's... No, Sandy Kenyon's no, blonde. Sandy Kenyon has, yeah, well, like, no, red no, hair. Sandy Kenyon's, like... He looks like the fucking Crypt Keeper. He, he looks another guy in the cab. He looks, cab like, that goes, he looks See like somebody. It. Sandy That's Kenyon looks Sandy like Kenyon. somebody put William know. H Macy in a microwave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's the guy that says "See it"? Uh, I don't know. He's got like gray hair. Yeah, I guess yeah. doesn't. Alec Trebek. Trebek. Alex Trebek. Trebek. It was Alex Trebek. <laughs> yeah. I just I haven't talked in a while, so. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I to well, tell you what, something. dude, we got countdown. T minus two, one, zero seconds left till the podcast is over. So. Oh, nice. That's a fucking hour. Really? That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Damn, Mike. Uh, yeah, that was great. I got to piss. Damn, Mike. I also, gotta, I got to use one of those tide markers on a spot I saw in that tracksuit I brought out. Mike, you're oh, the you fan's favorite guest, by the way. Happen. Yeah, yeah, I heard From that. What right? I can there hear. was a subreddit. What do you mean you? That's what, what you hear, Adam. People DM me and said Mike's the best. The thing when I he... I mean, I don't say... I don't, see, here's the thing. I agree with them. I love Mike, but I don't believe you, dude. I think you're. Co- I feel like you don't. Oh, have he might have made that up. You think? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. would I have made that up? I don't know. I could have said nothing. I don't know. Seems man. like a pretty odd thing to make up. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Uh, uh, I've never uh, seen these DMs. Yeah, yeah. A microphone. All right. Well, that's the end of the episode. You guys were great. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.